Welcome back everyone to more career mode gameplay of SRX The Game. And in today's video, we're headed to Roper Mountain, a track you might remember from last season. It is almost an egg shape, really. You're not really going straight uh, for very long at all on this track. A little bit on the, on the uh, front stretch, but that is about it. It offers a couple of different grooves around the track and usually some very intense racing. We've had some contact here that caused us some damage in the past, so hopefully we won't have to deal with that in today's race. As far as the prize money, eight grand, which is sort of middle of the road. It's not 10 grand or above, which I consider to be good payouts. And it's also not the bottom of the scale either. So we're sort of middle of the road there. If you take a look in the bottom right hand corner, car condition looking good. We're at 90 of 90. I've already done the repair work, which cost about $2,100 overall. And if you take a look in the top right hand corner, you can see we have just a bit over 18 grand as we enter today's race. Now, if we hop over to the garage, we're gonna go into the suspension because I wanna show you guys what's up next. Obviously, already we've done an upgrade on the engine to get it to level three. Same thing for the tires. We're at level three there. Suspension will be next. And the reason it'll be next is because it's the next cheapest in the line. So we've got two options here where we could go. We could go in the top on the middle which will be 25 of 30, and we can go top right, which is 29. So we got a little difference in performance, but you notice there is a big difference in the cost. So we'll have to make a determination about which direction we wanna go here. Now there's a couple of things to think about. As much as I would like to think that we can get max 30 of 30 on all of our components, that's generally not going to be uh, available for us because we're running shorter schedules. And we're trying to move up through the different series, so we don't have enough time available to us to simply max out everything. So it may be that we choose, like we did with the engine, to go a little bit less than max performance to save a little bit of money and be able to move up through some of this in order to save ourselves a little bit of time. But just something to keep in mind, uh, if we want to go the 25 of 30 on performance, top middle, 27,103. So we're not terribly far from that at this point, probably two to three races away from making that upgrade. And if we hop over to the schedule real quick, just to show you guys what's upcoming. After today's race at Roper Mountain, we're headed to Grant Park. We've had a lot of success there. I can generally find a pretty good rhythm there and we generally get some good finishes and first place prize, 11 grand. So it's up and over our 10,000 threshold. Then we go to Kenyon County, which is its own beast and it is very difficult for me to run. And then we go to our next showcase event at Diamond Grove, a track that is very short, very tight, uh, and we have to use some alternative grooves in order to make our way through. But the good news is the, the prize money, because it is a showcase event, is amazing. And we've had good finishes there in the past. So that's a look at what's coming up over the next few videos. But for today, we're headed to Roper Mountain. Practice and qualifying now in the books, and things have gone actually pretty well. Uh, you can see that we beat our goal time in practice by about a tenth, tenth and a half or so, and then qualifying a little bit better that, than that at 11.7 flat. So overall, pretty good. Now, I must admit, uh, there are I'm of two minds right now about the handling of the car. Obviously, we have a lot more horsepower than we have grip. Now, we got some good tire grip, but the suspension and everything is just not up to par yet and the good part for me is I really enjoy driving the car like this because it has a lot less grip than the game generally intends for you to have the bad side is as much as I enjoy driving the car like this obviously the AI are not driving the car like that they have a lot more grip so we're still well down on speed I think the uh, the fast qualifying time was down in the 11.1 uh, bracket so we're well off we're better than a half second off of that but like I said it is so much fun to drive with a lot more horsepower than you have grip top two may advance to the qualifying dash but what we're interested in is advancing directly into the a main and we need top four for that now we're starting on the outside which isn't terrible here at this track we want to be on the bottom wow gotta love these starts Ooh, look out, guy. He's on that bottom. Ooh, he's digging. 
There was definitely some contact there. Not sure, maybe he had some issues on the corner exit there. But yeah, I'm definitely having to drive the car differently with all this horsepower and not as much grip, so I'm still trying to figure this out. I made a couple of changes before this race to the setup to try to tighten it up a little bit. The car is over-rotating with me uh, simply because of all the power we've got. So we're going to figure out how to drive this thing a lot more time off throttle. I'm going to try to figure out how to use the brake, uh, maybe to set the car. And we'll see how it goes. But right now we're in fourth. Yeah, like right there, just coming off that corner. Car is just too loose, over rotating a bit too much. And again, that is simply a matter of having a lot more horsepower than you do grip. Let's see what kind of lap time we get here. Yeah, that was a lot better. I was able to control the back end. So, not bad. And that's generally the case. Over the course of the race weekend, I generally get a little bit better than I was in practice as I learned some more about how the car responds to the track. Another thing you can do if you find yourself over-rotating uh, at a place like this is don't get down quite so low in the corner. Because down at the very bottom, of course, you start to lose banking. And in a place like this, uh, losing banking, you get down on the flat, uh, it can de-wedge the car by putting that left front down there. So, we made it to the top four. We're going straight to the A-Main, starting 19th. All right, we have reached our first goal of the weekend. We made it to the A-Main. Now, we're starting back here in 19th. Let's see what we can do. Can we move up a few spots? Now, the garage screen lists our goal for today's A-Main as 15th. That seems reasonable. I have no idea if we have that kind of speed. But again, it seems reasonable enough. So we're going to try to stay out of everybody's business here. But uh, as we've seen plenty of times in the past, it is full contact racing here in the 305s. Ouch. Hello. Okay. Yep. Well, there's my man. If you're going to do the slide job, you better get going. Right now, it's all about just avoiding the other cars. Forget making up spots. Let's just see if we can avoid as much contact. And we've seen contact lead to some very bad consequences for us in the past. So I'm gonna be searching around, trying to figure out if there's some way I can make speed here. Trying to control the rotation of the car because the car certainly wants to over rotate with all this horsepower and not enough grip to corral it and it is a lot of fun to drive oh look out there's a car that was flying Let's see if we can hold on to this position hey we'll take these positions however we can get them so i'm using just a bit of brake on corner entry, I'm completely out of the throttle, just trying to let the car take a set so that it doesn't over rotate quite so bad on corner exit because that is where I'm getting ouch. We've got a nice love tap from behind there. I'm assuming this guy wants his position back, and sure enough, there he is. Full contact racing there. Oh, hello, more contact. Try to get under this guy. Oh, lock wheels there. He was doing the smart thing. He was crowding me down. He wasn't giving me any room, even though I was trying my best to take as much room as I could. You can hear me working that throttle. Cannot stay full throttle like you would normally do if the grip was equal to the horsepower. 
Oh, that was not a good entry there. I did not get that right at all. Let's see if we can still maintain. Oh, slide job on us there. Very nicely done. <laughs> oh, this contact everywhere. I love it. As much as I prefer, you know, having zero contact during the course of a race, sometimes you just have to embrace it because that is exactly the way the AI race in this game. So you just have to embrace it and go on with it. Or you're going to find yourself to be incredibly frustrated a lot. Which is exactly what I was at first. Uh, if we go back a game or two in the Tony Stewart series. Alright, so we're up to 17th. Not quite 15th for sure. Definitely, the car wants to rotate all by itself. That is not a problem. But I am the type of driver that loves to drive off the right rear, and I used to, I like to drive the car with the throttle more than the steering wheel. So for me, it's all about controlling the rotation, not about getting it to rotate. We can get it to rotate, no problem. So we have stabilized here in 17th. I'm not really getting any pressure from behind. And oh, hello. Well, that's not what I intended. He had some issues coming off the corner. And by the way, I don't know if you guys can hear this on the video. Hopefully not. But uh, it is storming outside my window, which is very close to where the computer is. So yeah. And I mean, it is raining, like big drops of rain. All right, so we are, oh yeah, we're past halfway. This is the first time I've actually looked to see what lap we were on or how many laps there were. All right, so we're up to 16th. Plenty of contact on the way here. Sometimes you're the bug, sometimes you're the windshield. And on that particular instance, uh, we got to be the windshield. We've been the bug here a lot lately. Way too often, I would, would wager. So I'm trying to reel in 15th. So we've got, we've got somebody to chase. There's a rabbit out there for us to chase, which is often the easier thing to do than trying to set the pace yourself. That's why a lot of people do much better when they're following somebody trying to run them down as opposed to actually in the lead themselves. I do really enjoy having to work the throttle here a lot more. All right, there's somebody coming up quickly behind me. I'm gonna assume this is the leader. Hello, and we just got popped. Ouch, that was not fun. All right, so let's see what happens there. Did we lose a lap? It says we're on the lead lap, if you look in the top left-hand corner. I'm not sure if, of course, the biggest thing is, do we have damage from that? How is the car gonna drive? So I'm going to try to feel this out. Oh, look out. Almost more contact, which I was trying mightily to avoid. Oh, the car there. I'm not sure if we've got damage or not. You know, we certainly should based on the type of contact we had. But if we do have damage, it's, if anything, the car is over-rotating, so we might have taken some there. But um, not all that big a deal, I would wager, if we have damage at all. 
Again, it's hard to tell with so much contact, the beating and banging in here. Oh, slide job there. All right, we're still in 14th. So apparently we are the last car on the lead lap, would be my guess. And after getting passed by multiple other cars, that would be, yeah, there we go. So we're the final car on the lead lap. So 14th, I'm actually very happy with that. Remember, we started 19th and it gave us a goal of 15th, which I thought seemed reasonable. And sure enough, we come home in 14th after, uh, yeah, a lot of contact in that race. But this time we came out on the good side of it. So let's work our way through and see what kind of money and points we got in today's race. Couldn't have been too bad. After all, we finished 14th. All right, so season standing is in the 20th position. Not surprising there. All right, overall, $4,300 is our portion of the race purse. $6,600 overall. Very nice indeed. So again, this was not the lowest paying event. It's sort of in the middle, eight grand payout for the winner. So $6,600 overall. We'll take it and move our way forward to the next race. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me and sticking around for more career mode gameplay of SRX The Game.